Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome fingerstyle arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which we're gonna learn Phil Collins's You'll Be In My Heart from the movie Tarzan. It's a beautiful song, and this arrangement and lesson were donated to the channel by one of your fellow Lickin' Riffers. So thank you so much. And, um, I'm going to play it for you now so you can see and hear how it goes and then we're going to break it down with tabs right here on the screen as usual. It goes like this. Enjoy. Okay, so put on F, okay? F major. And you play strings six, five, and four. Okay? Now what's going on here? You play the chord twice and then mute it. And you do it three times, okay? One, two, three, okay? Now the mute, the muting technique does not come from this hand, okay? you're just unpressing the chord, okay? That's the fastest way to do it, okay? It's the easiest way to do it, okay? Just unpress the chord, okay? Unpress. You don't let go of it because then you'd get this, open string sound. You just, okay, unpress it because you still need to stay on the chord, okay? That's the easiest way to mute. Okay, so you play it three times, okay? And then you have this, okay? It's the same chord shape, but you let go of the bar, okay? You let go of the bar because you need the open strength, but you're using the notes of the F chord. So you're playing zero two zero on the third string, okay? Hammer on, pull off, okay? And then three zero on the fourth, and then you have three on the fifth, okay? Okay? 
and then you play it again twice and then you can play okay the open third string twice before the solo or you can play the chord and then the open third string twice okay like this okay it's up to you whether you want to play the chord again okay so this time it sounds like this okay that's the second time or you can play the chord okay and let it ring okay so you play the f chord just once when you play it the third time and then you play the open third string twice okay it's not as confusing as it sounds it's just you know confusing to explain it out loud but you can hear what's going on Okay, let me play the whole intro. Third time. And then. Okay, chord. Okay, so it's just a difference the third time you play the F chord. Okay, everything else is the same. Now, the good thing about it about finger style is that you know it's an arrangement you can do whatever you like you don't really have to change it you can just play the first half twice you can just play it the same the second time around okay? you don't really have to change it if you don't want to and then you have the verse you have F you play the bass okay or the chord if you want and then you have this okay one one on the second string two two zero on the third three three on the fourth okay so it's and then you have C and F okay for C you play strings three four five okay you play it twice and then you have F, you play strings four, um, sorry, three to six, okay? Three, four, five, and six. Okay, so it's C. And the whole line, F, okay? You can play the chord, okay? And then, then C and F. Then you have the first um, few notes up, to the open third string and then you have C okay you play strings three four and five and then the second string and then you have okay F with two pull off to zero on the third string and three on the fourth now you can use your thumb for the bass here Okay? because you're not returning to F okay so you can do this okay and then immediately okay you have that guitar solo in the background so it's okay you go to B flat minor uh, sorry B flat major uh, you go to B flat and you have that guitar solo in the background, so you need to do it immediately after F. Okay, and it's zero to zero on the third string. Again, hammer on pull off. Three on the fourth, and then one on the fifth with the open fourth. Okay, for B flat. So once again, and then F. And the solo immediately and then you have okay you have zero zero two zero okay you can hammer on and pull off again on the third string and then three on the fourth okay so it's okay you don't have to hammer on and pull off this time if you don't want to so okay and then it's the B flat bass, one on the fifth string, and then zero, 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 hammer on to two on the third. Okay, you can play the fourth as well if you want. Okay. Okay, 
it's a part of the chord. And then you have G minor, but we're not playing the minor note, so we can just put on our normal G shape. Okay, just three on the bass would do. Okay, you play the bass, you play zero, zero, two, zero on the third string. You play the fourth string with it if you want. And then one on the second string, two on the third. And C. Again, strings four, five, and uh, three, four, and five. Okay, too many numbers, a little bit confusing, but I'm here. Okay, C, strings three, four, and five. Okay, and then you have the verse once again. Okay, you play it twice, and then you have the chorus. So after C, okay, you have G minor, remember? You have C, and then you have A, A major. Okay, so you play it, you can strum it, you can play it in finger picking. Okay, you can just play the whole chord. Okay, and then. So it's D and G. D, you play strings three and four, and then the second string twice. And then two zero on the third string into a G chord. Okay, you play the whole G chord. Strings two, uh, sorry, strings three, four, and six. Okay, that's my G chord now. So. And then you have A, okay, you have A, you play the third string as your melody, okay, you can play the whole chord, and then the E string, the first string, twice, and then the open third string, then you put on F sharp minor, bar on two, E minor shape, and you play, you play the head of the chord, the, the four on the... Uh, on the D string, on the fourth is your note. So you can play the whole chord because you know the song and the ear will listen to this note. So it's... And then you have two on the, uh, on the fourth string and then you have B minor. And you play B minor, you play like this. You play strings five and four, and then two, two. Okay, so it's F sharp minor. And then you have the two from the bar right before that. And then you have, okay, you have G add nine. So you have three on the bass and two on the third string. Okay, and then you have the E string twice, and then the third time with C. So it's, okay, it's G, C. And then, okay, it's four on the fourth, okay, on the D string, and then it's the C head. Okay, two and three on strings, four and five. Okay, so it's, Okay, and then A again, and then you play everything again up to B minor. Okay, and then, okay, instead of B minor the way you played it the first time, you replace it with this. You play B minor, you play the uh, fifth and fourth strings, and then, okay, the second string twice, and then the fourth again, and then G with the open third string. Okay, so it's B minor G this time. And then, okay, you have C with two hammer on to four, two on the fourth, and then A. Okay, and then okay, it goes back to the verse. 
Then uh, you can play the verse and the chorus again, and then you have the bridge. Now the bridge starts with G, with one 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 zero on the second string, and then two pull off to zero on the third string, and then you have D to G, okay, or okay. So it's two 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 on the third string with D. And then G. Okay, you have G with the open second string. And then you have it again. Okay? And then you have B minor. Okay? The, you play the chord and the melody is strings 2, 3, 3, 3. And then you keep playing B minor for another full bar. And then you have a three on the second string. And then you have um, the open second string with C. Okay, this is C major seven. And then two pull off to zero on the third. Okay, so it's B minor. Second string. Okay, and C major seven. And then A. And then you have the bridge again, the whole thing. G again, okay, and then you have B minor, C major 7, and then you have a different ending, you have D and A, okay, so it's the open first string with the open fourth, 3 0 on the second, and then A with the same first two notes, the open E string and then three on the second. Okay, so it's D, A. And you play the chorus again. So download the tab for free. Uh, the link is below in the description. Download the tab from my website. And while you are there, check out the Break Your Boundaries course program. My uh, full course program containing over 15 course modules covering everything you ever wanted to know about guitar playing. Everything um, from ear training to fretboard vision to scales to theory to fingerstyle techniques and intuitive composition and noodling and fingerstyle flow and arrangement training as well, rhythm mastery advanced rhythmic techniques, anything, just check it out. Lickandref.com slash courses, the Break Your Boundaries course program. Go download the tab, enjoy this, and thank you, dear Lickandrefer, for contributing this to the channel. Bye for now, have fun.